Good morning. Welcome back. We've got some weather alerts to tell you about today. Frost and fog, two things that are going to be impacting us in the western part of our viewing area, especially this morning. Anywhere you see a color here, we want to first of all say that there is a dense fog advisory for that area. On top of that, there are some places that have a frost advisory. So Devil's Lake, Langdon, and then down through Valley City, you have both a dense fog and a frost advisory here. Elsewhere, just a little bit off to the east, over into Steele County, up toward Nelson and uh, Pembina and Hallock, uh, or in the... Uh, uh, Kitson County area, there we go. The town of Hallock, you're just under the dense fog advisory stretching down to Ransom and Sargent County as well. So here's a look at what we have going on. First of all, we'll talk about that frost advisory temperatures in the west are the coolest. That's where we're at 30 degrees in Carrington. Cooperstown is also at 30, 37 in Grand Forks, 32 in Langdon. So the cool spot off to the west. The east isn't so bad. We've had a few more clouds there overnight, keeping our temperatures a little warmer. 41 in Thief River and down into Faustin, 45 degrees currently. Southern Valley, 39 degrees is our current temperature in Fargo, 36 in Wapaton, and 44 in Park Rapids. And Jamestown, a chillier, much chillier, 30. Oaks is at 32. So another morning to bundle up and be ready to have to scrape off the windshield off to the west. Our visibility looks pretty low off to the west as well. We've got no visibility being reported in Valley City. Up to the north, Langdon's now up to a quarter of a mile. Cooperstown, same thing. Hallock is at a quarter of a mile as well. And Oaks, a quarter of a mile of visibility too. So we're going to have some variably dense fog in the, I guess, western third of our viewing area here. Central Valley, most of us looking quiet for the moment as far as that's concerned and clear. Uh, it's north and west where we're under that fog. And that fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock this morning. Wind is very light, less than 10 miles per hour, generally out of the west. Clouds in the east and a few more clouds off west that will maybe try to work their way in today. We've got a cold front across the central part of the country. That was what brought us the cooler temperatures. It's currently stretching from the Great Lakes back over through Missouri and Kansas where there's some rain showers occurring there. So looking at our temperatures across the nation, we are the coldest here in the lower 48. We're now down to 37 in Fargo and uh, we're at 44 in the Pier area. That cool air really pushed in behind that cold front. So today, we're going to see a few more clouds this morning to start off to the east. And maybe even a couple of sprinkles showing up on our model there associated with that. Off to the west, clear skies have allowed fog to form. That's where you see that deeper gray over toward Jamestown and the Devil's Lake area. This is at 9 a.m. Temperatures back into the 40s at that point. And by noon... Back into the 50s, we get some of, that, some of those clouds cleared out of here. Temperatures are going to be uh, looking like we're on the upswing after a cool day yesterday. Back into the 60s in eastern North Dakota by 3 o'clock. To the east, into the mid to upper 50s. And then later on today, some mid-60s for highs in eastern North Dakota. So looking better slowly today. Tomorrow, things really ramp up. We'll show you that in a moment. But for tonight, if you're heading out to Friday night football, it looks good. Temperatures are going to be on the 40 to 50 degree range with that wind, though, into the 20s, maybe getting close to 30 tonight. So even if it's in the 50s, it might feel a little colder than that. It'd be a good idea to prepare for that. Bundle up uh, if you're going to be sitting out at the game uh, tonight. Tomorrow, if you're heading to the Bison game, if you're going to be tailgating, Kyle was concerned about 5 a.m. when he'll be out there. Temperatures to start in the morning, those upper 40s. You'll need your sweatshirt then, but by the afternoon, 83 degrees. Can you believe it? In October, 83. And for Sunday, 84, the high uh, coming up for the weekend as well. You can see our records at the top for Fargo and conditions that are looking like uh, we're going to be on the really nice side. A little windy, though, on Sunday, but I think we'll take that if that means we have an 84-degree temperature coming up. Next week, we kind of return to more October-like weather, but can, it's just crazy how lately the weekends have been the best days of the week, and this is by far... I want to say the best week because of the difference we're seeing here. I will not be complaining no. if we can no. keep that pattern going. Exactly. That's we'll awesome. see what we can do for next weekend, too. <laughs>